I think the benefit of just saying now that we can use dose dense or every three week therapy allows us to do a lot of additional combinations in the primary therapy setting. So whether we add a PARP inhibitor, which is being done as you know and looking at maintenance, whether we add other antivascular agents, maybe vascular disrupting agents or other novel compounds, whether we consider um, immune strategies for maintenance or immune combination strategies, these can all be given either using the dose dense or the three weekly schedule would have been very difficult to try and incorporate those into an intraperitoneal cisplatin question. And I think that's what this information has given us. Intraperitoneal therapy has been traditionally used in the gynecologic world just in ovarian cancer. It has been used in other GI malignancies with other agents as well. Um, in terms of endometrial or cervical cancer treatment, because of the pattern of spread of those diseases, we've not used the intraperitoneal approach.